Hi there everybody, it's UK independent stamping up demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Thank you for joining me today for a 3D Thursday project and today I'm going to be using the Sentimental Swirls and this gorgeous paper. This is the Sunshine and Rainbows designer series paper that you will find in the Celebration catalogue. So you cannot purchase this paper but you can get it free with spends of £45 or more. If you spend £45 in either the annual catalogue or the mini catalogue, it entitles you to a free celebration item. And this is where you will find this paper. And just to show you how good value this is, look, there's 48 sheets of it. Immense. So today I have this project for you. No guesses what's in the bottom of this box. But it's a lollipop. <laughs> I just thought it was really fun. I haven't put one in a box before and I was going to put it in a full box. And then I thought, no, I'm going to give it sort of a handle. And this is what I created. So let me show you how to do it. It's really quick, really simple. So you just need to select the paper that you want to use, which is probably going to take you the longest amount of time in this project, to be honest with you. I'm going to go, um, oh, what's that one there? I was going to go spots, but that's rainbows. I'll go spots still. Okay, spots and stripes, that makes sense, doesn't it? You're going to want your um, scorer or your trimmer. And you're also going to want to have whichever lollipop you um, have chosen handy. And you're just going to want to measure it on your grid paper. So I know it's two and a half centimetres wide and I know it's three and a half centimetres Um so it's three and a half centimetres, three and a half centimetres and two and a half centimetres that I'm going to need this paper. So what you're going to do, whichever side you want to use, you put that face down and you're going to start off with your two and a half centimetres. So that will be your width side. So two and a half. Then you want your three and a half, which takes me up to six. And then your two and a half, which takes you to eight and a half, and chop. That bit just put to the side. Okay. And then on this part, you want to go, so you it was three and a half and two and a half, wasn't it? So you want to go three and a half to start off with. By the width, which was two and a half, which takes it to six by the length, which was three and a half, so it takes you to nine and a half, by the width, which was two and a half, so it will take you up to 12. And then you just wanna create a flap at the end, so that'll be 12 and a half centimeters. I'm just gonna actually go over that because, uh, and you want to cut on that one, sorry, on the flap one you wanna cut. So I've got four lines, so I've gone the top, the width, the top, the width and a flap, and then the width at both sides. Three and a half, two and a half, three and a half, two and a half, half, two and a half, two and a half. Okay. Then you just want your bone folder and you want to burnish all of these score marks. This is just a fun project because lollipops I feel are for kids. And I couldn't see my score marks on the bright pattern then. And kids would love this because it's just so happy and fun. And I feel it really goes with this paper. I mean, it's just beautiful. So once you've got it, and I think I'm probably better showing you on this side because I think my score marks will show it better here than here. I'm trying to sort of turn it into the light for you. These two thin rectangles at the top, so these two, you want to chop off completely. Okay, and then you just want to tab him to there. Then on these lines up here, you want to chop into each one. So I'm just going to very quickly do that. One, two, and I'm missing one again. I don't know how I can expect you to see it on film when I can't see it in real life, but you know, there we go. One. Two, three. 
Okay. And that is pretty much the essence of your box. What you want to do is you want to grab your single hole punch and you just want to pop a hole in the center. Now, I know because I did it with this one, that that hole does not fit my lollipop. And I also have this tail part of the lollipop as well. So I actually just played around with this a few times and I created myself sort of like a, a bigger circle by joining all the circles together. So I need to be able to see through my hole to see where I'm holding. Okay, so that's sort of a big enough hole, I think. See if it feeds through the lollipop and the tail. Oh, fit, 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 fit. It's the tail of the lollipop that really is a pain. It's all this paper that they've got on it. There we go. It's through. So once it's through, what you want to do is apply some adhesive to this flap here. You need to have your lolly in for this um, because you're gonna start wrapping around the lollipop. So it's not gonna work if it's not in. You know, most projects, you normally put whatever's inside the box in last. Not in this one, you need it in right away. Okay, so you can just pop your fingers in and seal that. Now, usually I would tell you to put the downward flaps in last so that your crease is at the bottom but because you're going to be having it that way up you want to put these ones in last so put both sides in put the bottoms in and then you want to stick these down so what i'm going to do is i am just going to take this to the end of my table which i know you can't see but i can then put the stalk over my table and put my glue on here i know you can't see me doing that but trust me it works so i'm just using the lip of the table to have the stalk and then I've got my glue on there so I can just then seal my box and there we go. Now for decorating you want a piece of basic white cardstock which I've got here and you want your stamp and your ink. I'm going to stick with polished pink because that's what I used the first time and I'm just going to stamp that down so I'm using Hello from the Sentimental Swell set. It has all these cute ones, but Hello is just the right size for my box. And with my scissors, I'm just gonna chop around that really close to it. Like that. Grab a few dimensionals to put on. those off and pop that on the front of your box. Oh, the right way around would be very helpful. Okay, I also popped on there some rhinestones. So I just popped a couple underneath just for some glitz. I like a bit of glitz on my projects. So I'm just gonna, one, two, and then finally, some ribbons. So previously I used the polished pink open weave ribbon and I'm gonna use exactly the same here. So I'm just gonna wrap that around the stalk of my lolly and just bow it. And there you go. There is my really cute and really simple 3D project for today. Lollipops. <laughs> I love it. Okay. If you do make one, please do go over to my Instagram, Slim and Stylish, and tag me in it. I would love to see what you've created. I love seeing everyone else's projects. If you have liked the product, do give me a thumbs up and check back again next week for my next 3D project. In between, there are card projects as well that will be going live on my channel. And everything I've used today is available from slimandstylish.stampingup.net. 
Thank you ever so much today. Speak to you later. Bye. I hope you've enjoyed today's project. All items that I have used on this video are available to purchase from my store www.slimandstylish.stampingup.net Alternatively, if you would like a copy of our catalogues, please send me an email to slimandstylish at live.co.uk or leave me a comment below and I'll get in touch with you. I upload regular content to this channel, so if you do enjoy watching my tutorials, please make sure that you have subscribed and rang the bell to get notifications when new videos go live. Thank you for joining me and have a lovely day.